Hey, welcome back to another weekly vlog. Why do I look like an egg? Well, I'll tell you why actually. Because I went to uni this morning, so it's Monday. Happy Monday, happy Sunday, but it is half five, 22 minutes past five actually. I went into uni this morning, it was very late, had to get a new boom, was still late. And I had my Lulabelle's ponytail in because I obviously didn't have time to wash my hair, but she came straight out when I came home. So I looked much better than this when I had long ponytail, but now I'm literally just an egg. Um, so I went to uni this morning and I've just been kind of like working on my laptop ever since. I haven't kind of started bothered vlogging yet, but... I'm about to make dinner, I'm gonna make chili, I haven't made chili in a while. So I'm gonna make chili, I'm kind of debating making four portions, so I can freeze two. And we did just sort out the freezer today, but I don't know if there is really enough room for that. So I'm gonna look now, but either way I'm gonna make chili. We're gonna have it with garlic bread, because fuck about. And that's that, that's what we're gonna do right now. I've just been like kind of doing work finally, I actually haven't done any work yet, really. So I've just been like finally getting started a bit. Um, and we're gonna have a good week. I do have to like, obviously, kind of really start doing some uni work. But I've also booked a gym class for tomorrow, spin class. I've got a new workout plan. I didn't get to fully start it last week because I had my vaccine, so my arm was a bit sore and I went away for the weekend. But this week, full beast mode ahead. This is why I'm kind of fancy and making like four chilies. I want to meal prep. We're going to go on a shop tomorrow. Um, I kind of fancy like meal prepping. We're going head first in. I've had like quite a few good strong moments in the last like two weeks in the gym so I'm kind of just like head first my calories have gone out beast mode into the gym heavy 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 lift 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 but yeah I'm feeling good we're gonna go to gym I've got a spin class for tomorrow morning I'm obviously gonna go to the gym after I've got a pole class for Wednesday evening finally gonna try a new pole or a pole place here in Leeds because obviously I was very into that summer and I haven't got back into it so I found somewhere I'm gonna go on Wednesday and they also have a learn to handstand class which I'm very very keen to do I've booked that for Thursday night anyway chilly Okay, so, do you care? It's basically, we're gonna cut up two of these onions. They're a little bit small, so potentially, no, two will do. And then, these three carrots. I fry them off, put the veggie mints in. I use a Linda McCartney one. This is 500 grams, so I'm putting in four. So that's gonna literally go. I can't stay. I can't sit still for a minute. I'm so dead set on indifference. Keep it Charlie, stay down with them dickens. Let's get around like it's the 80s. Right round, let's keep spinning. Let's keep playing these games that we don't want to finish. And I'm sorry if that sounds a bit bitter. But I am to the core. You want the whole damn thing? Then you ask him for more. You want that old jive swing? You take up all of the floor. I'm fine with standing at the edge of the door. You be the life of the party. I blend in with the core. You drink it all to Bacardi. Till the bottle's no more. Let's take it back for this started. You want the love? I don't got it. Got my soul on the road. You scream and stay. Dinner of kings. I'm so excited to eat this. My toxic trait is just not going off my phone ever. So it's 20 past 10. I've been sat. What time do I make my chili? Like half six. I've been just been literally sat on my phone, like not moved. Gabby got up and left the living room, and I was like, yeah, okay, come on, we're both leaving then. And I just didn't leave, and then I've come up to my room, and I've just sat here. I think um, I was emailing my dentist today. I think I get my attachments off. Can you see them glistening? I just put a brand new Invisalign in those so that are always like extra shiny. Can you guys tell on camera? Yeah, you can tell that you can always tell on this one. Look at the lumps on my teeth. Oh, I look really ugly. Um, they come off in November. And he was just saying 19th of November. They can come off. It's literally the 12th tomorrow. That's like five weeks away. I'm going to sit here and watch the rest of the Megan Grubbs video. I might journal a bit, actually. I was meant to change my bed, I just realised. But it's half ten, so I'm not going to do that. And I'm going to get up. Hello. <coughs> Whoa, hello. The next morning, I'm in my new bone tea set. Megan Grubbs collection. I bought this and I bought the coral and now I kind of wish I bought the purple. But I'm going to go to the gym. I'm so excited to train today. You have no idea. I don't know what's gone into me, but I'm very excited about it. I've never, I haven't been this excited about my training 
since like I, I don't know I can't remember since I like started with my coach but even then I just feel like maybe I wasn't this excited I've just had some good sessions recently and obviously my plans completely changed up like I said to you and I'm just so excited to just like go into this like this is the first week I'm doing it head first I've wrote it down in my notes so I can keep track of my weights that I always forget to do as well I'm just excited to lift heavier and lift heavier as we're eating more and more and get stronger and stronger that's what we're doing. I've got a spin class first, obviously, and then I'm going to go into the gym. We've got a pyramid set of hip thrusts today. So it goes 15, 10, 8, 6, and I'm trying to decide what I want to do 6 on. I feel like I could do 100 for 6, but I might be really tired after, but with a break, I think I could hit 100 for 6. That session was impeccable, but it is now 20 to 12. I left at 9. I want to get some things from Asda quickly. Yeah, I went into Asda quickly because they have the milk that I like. And sweet and soy milk. They didn't have any long life one. Normally I'll get like two and keep one in the cupboard. But I mean, I go to that gym all the time. So I'll be there tomorrow. I got these. I've never actually tried these, I don't think. These are the Linda McCartney quarter pounder burgers. I was like, go on then. We could do a burger night this week. So then I got sliced brioche buns. Probably should have looked in Aldi. Because I'm going to Aldi now. Um, and then classic Rivera chicken tenders. I'm going to make a katsu this week, I think. I'm off to Aldi. I've got my shopping list. I don't really need loads really done my list i need some toilet roll i need some kitchen roll probably as well and what else did i just say soap hand soap for the bathroom i'm gonna pop into one below as well and get um they've got like tall kind of containers because i'm just gonna buy a big bag of oats from aldi because i'm about to run out of my like packets of oats so i'm just gonna get a big bag i kind of need some more tupperware as well so i'll probably have a look at that one below but let's go trying to decide if i want a trolley or not lugging around the basket like when it gets a bit heavy oh, i don't bring my airpods i wanted to listen to the girls bathroom your gal got a lot of things but what's new i've got two bags from one below not what i was supposed to come out with well to be fair a lot of it's just like housey stuff kitchen roll toilet roll hand soap vimp dough and did you even go to one below if you don't leave with a packet of sweets the answer is no in case you were wondering and then the other one's just like loads of tupperware I got this for fruit. I'll show you, I'm gonna do it now. I got this for the bottom of our cupboards to put like, we've just got like a fuck ton of snacks and like we just need something to do with them. This, I think I'm gonna put pasta in one. I needed one for oats. And then I got just like these little shallower, cheaper ones cause I'm gonna make katsu and I need something, I wanna make like four portions and I wanna freeze too. So I wanted ones that I could put in the freezer that were a bit smaller as well. And I also just wanted some, we've just got one very large bag. Raspberries, mango. Oh, they had the sausages again. These taste exactly like the Lyndon McCartney ones. Oats, I'm gonna put these in here. Normally I buy like the sachet ones, but I just thought, What's the point? Like, I think this bag was like a pound. And the thought of like having them in this just stresses me out. So I was like, do you know what I'll do? I'll put them in this, put one of my my protein like scooper things in it, and then do it that way. And then for my oat, I've got some interesting things. I got the Aldi biscuit spread just because I have no biscuits left and this stuff does taste the same. In the baking bit, I was like, oh, I'm making hot oats again. And I like to put in um, milk chocolate chips and just like chocolate chips in general on hot oats because they're like tiny bits of chocolates and they all melt I don't do it with overnight oats because they don't melt so I was like oh I'll get some of these and then right next to it I wanted white chocolate ones but I didn't have it but they had this it's like white chocolate and raspberry like white chocolate and raspberry I don't know what the raspberry bits are gonna be like I thought wow that could be great and my oats I do are like vanilla and raspberry so with the white chocolate and raspberry bits could be super fun blueberries and strawberries I buy so many berries. I was talking to someone the other day that I'm surprised how many berries you buy at uni. They're my favourite and I literally don't go out so I may as well spend my money on food I like. They had no normal plum tomatoes, like the cheap 50p like ones like this of just plum tomatoes. So I got these which were a bit bougie but they were still like just under a pound I think. They're just tomatoes. Sunstream tomatoes. Mushrooms. I do have like a little full pack of mushrooms but I got eggs. Six pack of eggs. I always get a six pack of eggs. I actually eat so many eggs at uni. I don't normally at home. I'm gonna make some omelets this week, I think. Carrots, bagel thins, tender stem, stir fry pack, juice pack, garlic slices, two lighter mozzarellas. I'm gonna make burgers and pasta. The most expensive part of my Aldi haul. Five protein yogurts. Normally I get four, but I just love these. I can't lie. I do. And when I run out, I just get sad. One thing of chopped tomatoes, because I would just pick up one in case I don't have any. And then I did actually just get a pasta sauce. 
a bit lazy of me, but I'm just gonna do that. And I use a whole one of these mozzarella things and some high protein pasta for like a few lunches. Well, a lunch, because I use a whole mozzarella, so. And courgettes. So I'm gonna start my fridge a bit, do this, and then I'm gonna do a bit of like potentially meal preppy stuff. I'm gonna wash all my berries, cut my strawberries and put them in one of these containers and then just sort my life out a little bit. So let me put all of this away and then I'll just So I just washed them. I'm saying pasta. I feel like hardly any pasta will really fit in here. So much easier than having little bags in the cupboard. I it held over a thousand milliliters. But that's not quite a thousand grams, is it? Smells like alpen. Pasta and oats. There we go. There's my tub of fruit for breakfast for the week. I have still got some strawberries left there. That food bin needs to be taken out. Should I be a good housemate and just do it right now? I'm being a good housemate. Sorry, my camera died and I really thought I had a spare battery, but I couldn't find it, but I did. And I just found it, so that's great. I've just been changing my bed, but I did want to time lapse it and stuff. But I mean, I'm sure you guys know how to change a bed. I took some of my washing out of the bathroom on the rack thing, dry thing, because I put another wash on. Me and Gabby have done like three washes together in the last few days, because we both had like a few blacks, a few colors and a few whites. So the white one is done now, so I should go and get that. But I'm just basically tidying up my room and then I want to sit and do some work tonight. <laughs> Look at her, absolutely gorgeous. Mopped hoovered well. I don't even know why I said that. I didn't hoover, but I sweeped and mopped. We're gonna make some din dins cause I am stopping. It's not always a mess. We just haven't like, there was a lot of mess and we haven't like properly cleaned it. Like I did a bit of a wash, Gabby did a bit of a wash and now there's just stuff to go away. So I'm gonna preheat the oven. I'm gonna put this washing away actually. And then, wash what's in the sink and then we can start cooking. I'm so hungry. I'm really stupid. I just went to be like, oh, let's vlog a taste test. Gabby just got me used from the shop. I'm so chili beans, look at their little faces. Oh, it's not gonna focus. There we go. Cute, so we're gonna do a taste test. My dinner was amazing. I made a huge tray of veg and a burger. You the burger. And I just see thanks. Um, and a burger, which was actually really, really nice. Sorry, I don't know what happened to me. I don't know why I forgot, but. How can you not like your- Oh! Mm -hmm. It's like exactly like it's own. I have a special surprise. Mm. Oh my god, they're really strong. Really strong, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Watching around first strike, Australian. Kristen the audio. <laughs> Look who's back! Look who's back! Look who's back! Look who's back to school! <laughs> She's back! She just telling us how she was park sparkling and shining in Paris. She's been in Paris all weekend. Morning hands. That's great by him. So I have about to say I've woken up and shit Sherlock. It's currently 10-ish. Oh, it's half nine. Sorry about the awful lighting. The sun is literally right there. Look. So I've woken up. It's half nine. I got up at like half eight-ish. I was gonna go to the gym. Basically, I have a tutorial at half 11. So this morning when I woke up, I was like, how do we wanna go about today? I obviously wanna go to the gym and I wanna film tonight's video because I wasn't very prepared. So I was like, I'll go to the gym. My plan was hopefully I'll go to the gym and have done my makeup before my tutorial and I can film right after. But I always plan like gymming and stuff around my hair wash as well. So I was like, no, do you know what? I'll get up now, do my makeup and stuff and film before my tutorial in case my hair gets all horrible at the gym because I'm just gonna go back to oh my god I've got pole dancing tonight I don't understand baby why can't you wait for me I think me and Tia are gonna book Paddy today I just went into Lou's room and stole batteries because our coffee whisk needs batteries and I'm gonna make a little coffee oh my god everything's a mess should I wash up oh, I don't want to wash up all right fine god By the way, I literally put coffee, this much tap water, like just cold tap water. There we go. She's got her powers back. I put too much water in. Although I say this, I don't like it really frothy. Okay, then we put ice, fill it up with more tap water, milk. I also put my protein vanilla drops in. 
Okay, I've got just over an hour until my tutorial. Oh, that's really good. Okay, let's go and film our girl talk, girly pops. Just finished filming my girl talk. I still just need to take a thumbnail quickly. But me and Tia are booking Bali. Bali. Watch me like title my Paris talk like with stranger and put my Instagram like guess who I'm going with. Um, but I've already told you guys. So if you watch the weekly vlogs, you're an OG. <laughs> I just said to my manager because me and Tia have the same manager. We were talking and she just sent me like a thing saying Jamie's cool think we're crazy and I said can't wait to tell him. So I screenshot it and I was like me and Tia are going to Paris, me and Tia have never even met. And he was like blah 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 blah. And he was like what are you doing, how long for? And I was like four nights, who knows, eating, drinking, taking pictures, being French. And he was like right listen here, I'm going to your Instagram, better be popping afterwards. I said oh, ha, I promise, if not you can blame Tia. He said no more slacking, I expect some bougie pics. And he was like deal, anything goes wrong we blame Tia. <laughs> We're actually going to Paris. It's actually we do go to Paris. <laughs> Sick. Oh my god, my tutorial's in eight minutes. Okay, so we've got probably get about twenty. So I've just got some mushroom tomato spinach seasonings obviously my egg I'm gonna take these out in a second put the egg down put these on one side and fold it I think Hopefully that works. I've never actually made an omelette before. But I feel like that's all you need to do I'm gonna have a bagel with it. Um, and yeah, I just got this delivery as well This is from a case to I'm pretty sure so we can open that together For fuck's sake It looked absolutely beautiful and then I tried to flip it and it just didn't survive but this is lunch. <laughs> you are balancing on the candle right now. Let's open this little case to fry delivery and then we need to go to the gym. Uh, I've got pole. Case to fry. My tutorial was very good. Very helpful. Look, uh, wow. How bougie. Oh, they're cute. Look at my smiley faces. Cute. I might put that on now. And then I got this. And I got a blue background, which I thought was really cute. Aww. So sorry, I forgot to bring my car with me. What? My camera in the car with me, but I've literally just been to the gym and come back. I've put another gym set on because I've literally got to leave for my pole dancing class in like two hours. But I'm going to grab myself an Audi yogurt. Um, I'm going to put a Kit Kat in it, some berries in it, and I need to sit and edit the video I just filmed for tonight before I leave. I've literally got two hours till I go. I'm just going to put a jumper on. I haven't literally been doing anything. I've literally just been editing my video, but we're off to pole now. I feel like today's been one of them days where like I've, I've like, well, I haven't even done a lot. Like I've done a few things, but they've all been very like, like I filmed a video, can't film that. I went to gym, had a tutorial. Now I'm going to pole dancing. Like it's been very updated today, I feel like. Cause there's not actually been like stuff I can film in the process. This is like a 20 minute drive, it's half five. So hopefully I'll get there like 10 minutes early. And let's go. I love this song. She could be my little freckle face fidget. Me but miniature. Sleeping on the sofa till she tackles and I tickle her. That actually makes me want to cry, I love it. It's five, five, five. I think I'm in the right place. Turns out it's exactly next to my hairdressers. Like my hairdressers in the same complex. I've literally got five minutes. So I'm stressed I'm in the wrong place. Um, I'm back from Paul. I've also eaten. I've left my camera in the car. Sorry, I forgot. But I just ate the chili that you've seen me make at the beginning of the week. Um, Paul was good. There are some very good people in that class. Everyone's quite strong. Everyone can like straddle into invert, which I can't quite do. My foot's already bruised from going upside down. All good things. Good thing my toes look good when I showed you that. All good things. I'm gonna book for next week now, actually, in case I forget. But it was good. £12.50, which is slightly on the pricier side. £12.50. Well, it's an hour class. So it's not bad. I'm still quite hungry. I've just eaten some mango as well. I'm a bit hungry. I don't know whether to literally put like a tray of veg in like I'm that hungry. Some of these girls were so sick. I'm gonna attempt to explain to you what it is. You have to really envision this, right? I'm gonna tell both of you. So here's the pole. You go like, no, I'm gonna stand. Okay, so say there's a pole in front of me, yeah? <laughs> not flashing. Like this. Yeah, so it's here. You go like this with your legs, like around it. So your mermaid, like this. Around it. Like people like, so you climb to the top of the pole and people are like that. And then you like crouch over it like this. So you're like, 
only hanging onto the pole with like this part of your legs. You've got three hands. And the girls, he did it, and everyone was like, fucking hell, like there's no way no, we'll be able to do that. And then two of the girls did it. And like you, so you're like this around the pole, like completely crouched. It's only here in the middle of your legs. And they literally go like this, open, slide down the pole, and they just trust themselves to like grip back on at the end. So they go like, they're here, they go <laughs> down the pole. Oh, when I see him do it, I was like, not a fucking chance I'll ever try that. Oh, I would spat on the floor. I know. It looks like this. It's like a mermaid to like bomb, and they go. Oh, just pop. Oh, gives me anxiety. I know, oh, it gives me anxiety. I need to wrap So impressive. That's scary. And they're, they're in there, and they've got like a matching pants and sports bra on, and their abs are just like a washboard, and they're like. Wow. And they're like flipping upside down. Oh, they're really impressive. Wow, I want to go. It's really cool. Oh, my cheek hurts. It's got so many spots. Oh my god, I didn't even say on my vlog. Earlier when I was filming my girl talk, I like pause at the beginning if you go and watch the video. And I go like this. I go. And I don't speak for like a minute. And I was like, Jordan Lips, come just follow me. And I was like, oh my god, I wonder how she found me. And she just commented saying, I watch your video, silly. It's only been up for like 20 minutes. Jordan Lips, girl. Oh my god, what if she watches this one? Should we go for tonight? No, no, it's a biscuit vibe. Um, what are the options? So we've got a sort of caramel hot chocolate just to set the scene. So I could have a caramelized biscuit kiss cap, Kit Kat, but I've already had one of them today. Okay, so what can I offer you? I can do these are sweets, not sweets. So I do have these, but I don't think I want, I think I know what I want. These are honey, oh maybe I could, honeycomb caramel bites, but they're quite small. We've got um, a toffee and chocolate snack bar. We've got a salted caramel snack bar. Or we've got normal cookies or one more pack of fingers. But I'm kind of feeling a dipping vibe, so I don't think fingers are quite long enough. Yeah, I was gonna go for that, do you think? I also have fingers, but I'll be a long No, I do, I do prefer fingers. But I don't like all the cotton dipping chocolate, are they? I don't know. No, you can still dip a finger in a chocolate. No, do you know what? I'm going to do a cookie. <laughs> because I enjoy a, uh, a finger alone. No, I enjoy... You enjoy what? A finger alone, apparently. Thank God, she enjoys fingers. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy a finger by myself. Yeah. So I'm going to do it. Continue. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm already embarrassed. Have <laughs> you got rest? Why? I'm going to watch it. Right, so I enjoy a finger by themselves, so I'm thinking I would enjoy that more without my hot chocolate. I've only got one more pack. <laughs> the ideal would be a Kit Kat, but I've already had one, so don't want to eat the same again. Although, if you go to B&M or anywhere, the caramelised biscuit Kit Kats just taste like Biscoff Kit Kats. They're unbelievable. I'm going to drink my hot chocolate and my cookies and probably zone off for today because I just all the excitement. <laughs> It's only like 9 a.m. 20 past 9, I'm gonna make some porridge as always. And I think we're just gonna head straight to the gym afterwards. It's heavy hip thrust day. So let's see what we can get. Um, I'm gonna do oats and then I'm gonna do 10 grams of Biscoff and five grams of this white chocolate and raspberry mix that I showed you guys earlier in the week. If you're a uni or even if you're a real adult, I feel like real adults don't count though. Do you just leave cutlery? Like, we just don't wash up our cutlery. My legs are quite sore. They're not like really sore, but going down, that's sore. Do I have squats on today? I'll just hit posts. So, it is now quarter past 11. I kind of just like sort out my washing and stuff, like boring things. I know you guys don't like it sometimes when I'm like, 
I've just done this and now I'm doing this, but I feel like that's kind of what my life has been like the last few days because I've been trying to just like get a bit sorted, but I'm literally sat at the kitchen like bench thing and I'm just gonna hopefully like work all day. I'm not gonna go to the gym because I'm feeling a bit sore, so I'm gonna, I had this tutorial yesterday which was super helpful, so I feel like I've got a lot of stuff to kind of do and go off. I always find starting uni work like super kind of like daunting and overwhelming, so I don't really know like where to start or like what to do, and that's how I've been feeling the last like few weeks, so I'm just gonna like go heads first and like see what we can do. I've also found eight, pl uh, eight pound flights to Rome. Really wanna just like jet off to Rome by myself for a few days. Doesn't that sound fun? Can you go to Rome alone? Anyway. Me and Gabby went on a um, hot girl walk and now we're in Abu Bakr. <laughs> Gabby's never been in before. Oh look, they have all of these ones. I feel like we could definitely use some things from this shop. <laughs> I don't want to buy them. I know, look how far back it goes as well. Look at all the coffee. Wow, look at all the, all the honey and jam. Oh, look. <laughs> you want to bake? The most, this is where I got all of ours. The most spices ever. <laughs> look at the actual bag. I wish I knew, like, what to put all this stuff in. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, it's the bin, the bin looks ugly. You need to sort it out. Yeah, it is the bin. Me and Gabby were watching, you know, just being productive queens, working, 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 and then we kind of stopped working, 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 working. So we were like, let's go on a fresh walk. I was meant to vlog, but I forgot, I brought my camera and everything. We were just talking about how basically it's already um, deadline and we've only just got a much more. <laughs> and then we started to stress. But then we went out with Bacca, which you saw. First, we went to Sainsbury's. I wanted mango, but I didn't get mango, so I got pomegranate. I also hate picking up my camera in Hyde Park in case people are like, who is this bitch? And then when we went Abbey back, I saw these. And I tried to get them in Aldi the other day, but couldn't find them anywhere. It's just got more breadcrumbs. I can't make a katsu tomorrow night. It's dinner time! I don't know if I've said. I did say. Tonight's handstand party. <laughs> I say party, because Lou was like, why are you going to handstand party? It's a class. But it's currently half five, and I'm going to eat because I don't want to like go upside down and like be sick. <laughs> But I made, this is the dinner I made the other day that didn't show you the burger. And I made veg, and I don't know why it was so nice, but it was actually so good. So we're gonna cut a carrot, and we're gonna cut a courgette into kind of like chip shape situations. And mushrooms, I'm literally gonna roast them with salt, pepper, and paprika. And then the Linda Picardi burger, mozzarella, bum. Still more of Gabby's and of sauce. <laughs> All right, it's nice. <laughs> so we've just cleaned our kitchen, like, now I need to eat again. Oh, imagine when you have like kids and you've got to clean up after them. I literally can't even clean up after myself. I feel like when you get older, you give your mum some more credit, don't you? <laughs> but yeah, it's a pretty hard job. <laughs> so you just have to look after yourself. You're like, wow, how did you look after all of us? I can stay. No, I always gotta go. Playing house to stay home with my soul on the road. I can't sit still for a minute. I'm so dead set on indifference. Keep it Charlie, stay down with them dickens. Let's get around like it's the 80s, right? Round, let's keep spinning. Let's keep playing these games that we don't want to finish. And I'm sorry if that sounds a bit bitter. But I am to the core. You want the whole Hello. Thing. Didn't eat him. It's handstand time. <laughs> I've got no idea what to expect from this. I mean, I do. I do. I think. I'm guessing we just like do handstands. I get a good learn to handstand. What if it's like learn to do cool, good handstands? Oh, I wouldn't think about that. But it's called learn to handstand. Not learn to. Oh my god, what if it's like. I don't think about this. <laughs> what if it's like people who are really good at holding handstands? I guess we're gonna find out. I need to leave literally like now. Hello everyone. I I know, I get just literally ignore the state of me. Maybe I should just pick this up tomorrow. Hand standing was great. I'm in bed with a hot chocolate and a Kit Kat. My head kind of hurts from being upside down. My hair is 
half greasy, half just wet. Like I kind of just like wet it when I was in the shower. But yeah, I'm literally just gonna watch a YouTube video and go to sleep because my head kind of is really sore. And drink my hot chocolate and eat my Kit Kat. So I'll see you tomorrow morning. I'm just gonna get up and go to the gym. Oh, huge apologies. Well, you don't even know. But I was gonna, you don't even know the half of it. I was gonna film like a little cook with me, little segment chatty, because obviously I haven't vlogged today yet. It was 20 past one, I just got up and went to the gym. I had a really awful migraine and like, I just didn't look my best, which you guys know I never normally care about, but like when I say my hair was like four days greasy, my skin was just like, well, exactly like it is now, but like with the com combination of the hair, like it just wasn't good. So I got up and went to the gym and I had a migraine, so I was just like, let's just go. Um, I feel so much better now. I'm absolutely starving. I was starving when I came back. Showered, washed my hair. I was about to start cooking, but I called my mum. They're currently in Barbados, fun. Just to like chat to them and then end up chatting to them for ages. So now I'm literally starving, but I've just made my food. I started making it when I was on FaceTime to them. I've just got scrambled eggs, literally the same as the other day when I made the omelette, but I just didn't make it into an omelette. So same like mushrooms and tomatoes. I haven't tried it yet. Mm. Very good, very mushroomy. I also bought vanilla soy milk in Asda on the way home um, and I made a coffee with it. No flavour drops, so let's see how that tastes. Mm, so good. Ha! Huh. So, let's eat. Oh my god. I had a really great gym session. And yeah, it's Friday. Friday feeling. Lou actually leaves again this weekend to go to Manchester because it's like a few people's birthdays. Not Manchester, I'm a liar. Birmingham, she lives in Birmingham. <laughs> Although I might be going to Manchester for Halloween. Well, I think I am. Um, to see Jazz and that, which is super fun. I wanted to go to like Round Two for a walk. I was gonna ask Gabby if she wanted to go like later today, but when I came back from the gym, she was going into uni. Sigh, so I don't know what I'll end up doing today. Okay, I'm not gonna give you like a proper time lapse of me eating, so I'll come back to you. I'm feeling very lean this morning in like my stomach. Feeling good. Although, my back really hurt at the gym today. You guys know, well, you might not know, I've got like a fracture in my lower back and it really hurt today. So I'm thinking about maybe buying like a back support situation for the gym. Um, if any of you know anything about that or if you have the same issue or if you're like a physio or chiropractor by any chance, will that help me? when I'm doing like, it's only when I've already like sumo squats, goblet squats, reverse lunges, like anything squat like with a dumbbell. For some reason, my back's just like, mm, nope. But it just kind of like hurts. Like it doesn't ache like muscle ache, like gym ache. It hurts, but then as soon as I like stretch it out and stop like after the session, I'm like now I'm fine. So I'm like, should I buy a support for while I'm doing it? Would that do anything? If you know, please help me because like, it does really, really hurt. <laughs> I was thinking this morning in the gym, Oh, I've got a delivery coming soon. It's this, it's from, I'm not even gonna try and say it. N-I-I-H-A-I. -I um, I've seen a girl on TikTok, she was like, this top. And I was like, yeah, that is a cute top. Them tops are kind of in, aren't they? And then on the website, and they were all sold out, and they had an orange one. And I just thought, it's one of the moments where I was like, yeah, I'll buy that. <laughs> I don't really know why. Uh, well, I do know why, it's very nice. But, um, yeah, I literally went on the website, and I was like, okay. And it wasn't like mad cheap either, or, like, or not cheap at all. Wow, look at that. This is it. It's for my Polly Pockets. No, should I try it on? When I say this is like see-through, like I may as well not be wearing anything. You can see every single detail of my nipple. But this is it. I have no idea how I'm ever gonna wear it out and if I will. And the sleeves, like I literally can't even move my hand. The sleeves are like joint. It's like a pair of tights. So I mean, cute, but like, you couldn't even do nipple covers because you'll just be able to see the circles. So I'm unsure, I'll go and try nipple covers. I don't even know if I have any with me actually. But yeah, this is it. It cost me literally 40 quid, so. Hello party people. I love what I call you party people when like it's Friday night at 6 p.m. And I'm getting my steps in. <laughs> How life has changed, hey? I feel like I'm a new person these days, but um, I feel like this weekly vlog's been a bit boring and I'm really sorry. Can't really figure out what I've done this week. Obviously, I'll figure it out when I edit this back. I might just start editing it tonight. Why am I really out of breath all of a sudden? I just took myself out of the house. I'm still kind of on my period. It's been over a week. If you're caught up with the weekly vlogs, <laughs> TMI, I've been having a period every other week. Week on, a few days off, week on. So, we're just coming to the end of this one. And I was just feeling a bit like one of them days, you know? I wasn't down at all. I was just like really tired. Didn't really know what to do with myself. Couldn't really get started on work. Started The Maid, really, really good TV show on Netflix. Um, so I just thought I'd take myself out for a walk because I've only done like half of my steps for the day and we'll get out. I'm gonna give Gabby some milk on the way home. 
gonna cook a katsu curry. <laughs> Spend a Friday night in. Me and Gabby are like, we need to do something this weekend because we've just not done anything. Maybe me and Gabby will go out on a cute date night tomorrow. Some drinks, maybe? Who knows? But yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Just listening to R.I.P. The Single Files, the girls' bathroom. I'm back now. I just had a stressful encounter in the shop. <laughs> well, it wasn't stressful, but there's a slip. I went to St. Right. <laughs> I went to Sainsbury's and I was like, I'm gonna make katsu tonight. And I'm like, what are you eating tonight? Hey. Yeah. Do you want a katsu? Do you want to join me? Do you want a katsu tonight? All right, I can listen to the radio. Yeah. Do you have like chicken to put in also? Anyway, so I was like, I'm gonna have a cat tonight, so I want to drink. But I forgot to get one from Sainsbury's. I just sh shop at top of our road. But there was like these two guys like unscrewing the fridges and like they were just there. And I was like, sorry, is it okay if I grab a drink or are you like doing whatever? And they were like, yeah, what do you want? But I wanted to, you know, I pointed out that tango to the other day, dark berry one. Yeah. I really wanted it. I've seen they had it in there the other day, but like. Yeah, they do. Or like the one I had the other day, but I just got stressed because there was a strong guy in there as well. They were all trying to like handle, they were like telling them to like get out. So I just got anxious and I got a Pepsi Max, but we've literally got a 14 pack of Pepsi Max <laughs> in that cupboard. I also got mango. What's new? It was just so juicy. And then I got two protein bars, I don't really know why. But I got sort of caramel one and a, this is really good, the white chocolate cookie one. Grenade one. But like, I've just had like one of them weird days. Like, it's not been a sad day, but I've just been like tired and like not knowing what to do with myself. Yeah. Look at my cheek, what is that? It's getting like worse and worse. Yeah, my forehead spots are coming back. But these spots on my forehead in this like cluster here, these came when I first went on the epi duo. And then they cleared up, so I was like, oh, it's just my skin purging, but now they've come back. It's like a month later, like they cleaned up ages ago. I want to go like a course of antibiotics. Yeah. People do that for it and apparently like after that it's like yeah. fine. Do you know what, I might ring them back up and say can someone have a look because when he gave me that cream, it was over the phone and he didn't look because it was after my tonsillitis -like appointment. I was like, oh by the way, I've got like whatever. And he went, oh, I'll just give you this. It's like the lowest that we do, see how you get on with it. So I feel like I might ring back and give it, can someone actually like have a conversation with me? Yeah. I've shown you guys a lot of cooking in this video. This may as well have been all why eat in a week. I was gonna show you all of these meals that I've shown you if I ever did a what I eat in a week video, so maybe I don't need to do it anymore. I'm gonna make four portions. Oh my camera battery's flashing. Maybe you won't get to see the cat soon. Well you won't because I don't have another camera battery charged. We're gonna do right, we're gonna do two onions. Four, I'm gonna make four portions. Four carrots, curry powder, garlic, veggie stock, and that's it. And you blend that, and there's your katsu. Bread, chicken, rice. Is that it? Garlic, curry powder, chili, veggie stock, flour. I always forget that. Only like 10, well, I'm gonna put 40 in, but only 10 for like one portion. Oh, I was gonna film a little, never mind. I'll show you the end products. <laughs> Oh my god, I look like someone's just broken up. Yeah, you were speaking of black week. I had a when I got the new Oh my god, I don't. Oh gosh. It's been a hard day. <laughs> what time is it? How long did that bloody take? Half seven. Any idea what time I started? But I have katsu. I always get stressed in the middle when the sauce is ready to blend and the chicken is already cooked, but. I was like, I'm telling you to die. Oh my the bowl's really hot. Hello! So, it is Saturday. Um, I didn't vlog all day today because I haven't been doing absolutely anything. I literally had the exact same day as yesterday. I woke up, went to the gym, I had quite a good gym session. Not like amazing, but good. I used the big boy leg press, which I haven't done in that gym yet because I've never actually used like the proper leg press. I tried it once in my old gym and never went back because it was quite heavy. <laughs> but I did that today, so I'm happy. So even though it wasn't like a fantastic gym session, I did that, so I'm proud of that. I basically didn't vlog, because I thought I would like film like a little bit of a get ready tonight, me and Gabby were gonna go out. But as I said, this has turned out to be a very realistic week. Um, Lou isn't here this weekend. Hannah isn't here this weekend. Just like, an, oh, our housemates from last year aren't here. Like everyone's just not here. So like, we were gonna go out, us too, because you know, we've got friends. 
Um, but we were like, you know what, we won't. We'll wait till people are back and maybe go to Bobby's Disco on Monday, which we haven't actually been to in three years here. So a very realistic weekend. We're not doing anything on Saturday night either. You can hear friends on the TV, sorry. So I'm literally going to stay in and watch, start watching the new series of You. And yeah, that's literally all I'm doing. So I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog here because I'm going to start editing it tonight. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I literally don't know what I've even done, so I'm really sorry if it's been really boring, but I feel like it's just been like really realistic. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If always, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below. I hope you're all having the best day ever, and I'll see you next week. Bye.